All right, so look, man. And this is going to be a quick video. We got some old head news today. Shout out to all the old heads out there, man. But unfortunately, I have to bring you some bad news. Hip hop icon Fat Man Scoop. He passed away on the 30th of last month, two days ago. And first and foremost, I want to say rest in peace to him, to Dolores, to his family, friends, and fans. I'm not going to sit here and lie like I know too much about the guy, but I am a 90s kid, so like when I was like in middle school, you know, around like seventh grade or so, I remember hearing uh, some of his music, hearing him on people's songs. Hearing his songs and movies, the guy definitely left his name in hip hop. Rapper, hype man, radio personality, he did it all. But unfortunately, at 53 years old, he did meet his demise. He was doing the show. During the performance, he was hyping up the crowd like he always do, right? Like I said, he's a hype man. And his very last words was, if you came to party, make some noise he just collapsed on stage the video is out there i'm definitely not about to post it i find it highly disrespectful and i actually watched it on accident i thought it was just him performing and somebody was just like paying respects to him but nah that was actually the performance and you can see him collapse on stage now i don't think the cause of death has been given just yet or made public but i'm going to assume this has something to do with health it's no secret that the guy was uh, on the heavier side. I mean, no disrespect, right? But his name is Fat Man Scoop. And I think that's something people got to start taking more serious, bro. Again, I don't know if this was health related or not. So uh, take this off of uh, Fat Man Scoop. I'm just speaking in general now. But all of this drinking, doing drugs, eating whatever you want to eat, not working out. It's going to take a toll on you the older you get, fam. And I see a lot of people on this, uh, what it's called, Ozempic, to help them lose weight. Like, I'm not a doctor or anything, but fam, I, I don't think that's natural. I don't know the effects of it or anything. Again, like I always tell y'all, I mean, I go to the gym almost every day of the week. If it's not seven days, it's definitely six. Now, I don't lift every day. Of course, you gotta let your muscles repair, things of that nature. But I do go to the gym almost every day at minimum probably 25 days out of a month i just like to keep my health up as much as i can so uh on days i'm not lifting i get my cardio in you know i do cardio every day but uh on some days i only do cardio you gotta get in the gym it ain't no way around it well i'll take that back you gotta work out work out and somewhat watch your diet especially the older you get when you young, hey, you know, I don't recommend it, but do your thing. But once you start getting around 28, closing in on 30, better start taking care of yourself, oh. Your body just like a car. I mean, you go uh, get checkups on your car, get oil changes on the regular. Majority of people get yearly inspections. So, like, do the same for your body, man. Work out. Fuel it with good food, good nutrients. Go to the doctor, get regular checkup so you can know what's going on with your body. Like I said, it's just like a car. The older it get, the more maintenance it's gonna need. But if you upkeep it all throughout the years, you know, it can still run like brand new. Keep them miles low. Don't be drinking every weekend, smoking every day, eating McDonald's every day. I know the french fries good, man. Well, they good as hell. I want some right now. Boy, them french fries good. I don't know what they be. It's just little, pro they plain french fries, for. Why is McDonald's french fries so good? It's literally just plain french fries, man. No seasoning, just salt. They hit every time, though. I don't get it. It's up to you, foe. When you in your 40s and your 50s, even 60s, right? Do you want your body to be running like a classic 84 chevy impala with only about 60,000 miles on it or do you want your body to be a 2012 nissan altima no bumper in the front two donuts on the car oil ain't been changed the whole year 210,000 miles on it 
check engine light on. But it's okay. As long as it's still driving, right? Yeah, that's the case until it stops driving. Take care of your health, man. Now back to Fat Man Scoop. Again, I don't know what caused him to collapse. All I know right now, that man is gone, and I want to send my condolences. So right now, I just want to say what comes to my mind every time I hear his name. And if you're a 90s baby, uh, even some 2000s babies, right? Y'all probably understand what I'm saying right here, right? But as soon as I hear Fat Man Scoop, the first thing I think of is you got served. Is it you got served or stomped the yard? Matter of fact, I think that, that that song I'm talking about was in both of these movies. Whatever I say, y'all gotta do. Whatever I say, y'all gotta do. Batman Scoop. Batman Scoop. Whatever I say. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I don't know the lyrics like that. But boy, that song be in every dancing movie. That's his song with uh, Timberland and Magoo. I just looked it up. Well, this one for Lil Saint, fool. I got this ice box where my heart used to be. Uh, uh, I'm so cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. Y'all can't see me, but I'm pop blocking, fool. But yeah, that's the first thing come to my mind when I when I hear this dude's name. So he definitely left the impact in my upbringing for sure. Let me go down this dude catalog right quick, cause I'm pretty sure he in a lot of songs. I just don't remember it because, again, it's a little before my generation. Oh man, he got a song with Mariah Carey. Oh, I remember that song. It's like that, y'all. It's like that, y'all. Hey, something, something. It's like that, y'all. That was Fat Man Scoop. Let me find out, Fat Man Scoop. Man, I'm tripping right now. He was in Missy Elliott, uh, Lose Control. Music make you lose control. Oh, yeah, let me put some respect on this dude, name, fool. Oh, man. You got a hundred dollar bills, put your hands up. Uh. I never knew there was a love like this before. Hey, man, no, this is my dude right here. Man, my mind never processed this was him and all of this stuff. I don't know why. Definitely a legend, man. I'm sitting here talking about Stomp the Yard and uh, You Got Served. This dude over here on Missy Elliott. Music make you lose control. Music make you lose. I don't know what he was saying, but well, he was yelling. But even with that being said, I ain't gonna lie, fool. He gonna always go down for You Got Served in my book. Boy, anytime I hear that song come on in the movie, I know somebody about to get it. Go ahead now, go ahead now. Go on ahead, get it, get it. Hey, hey. Little dancing fool. Boy, I be hate. I wish I could dance like that. Boy, they be going crazy. Whatever I say, y'all gotta do. Whatever I say, y'all gotta do. Whatever I say, y'all gotta do. Now drop, now drop, now drop, now drop. Rest in peace. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, TZF Baby 252 Man, why are all the fun rappers dying, man? Batman, Scoop. Beat King. I ain't listen to either one of them like that, but boy, it's better than listening to all this sliding on you. I'ma slide on you. I'm the biggest out fool. You the biggest out. You ain't no biggest out fool. Shut up before I slap you in the back of your head. I'm gone. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets.